If you want to destroy a nation, you must destroy the family. And if you want to destroy the family, you must destroy the men. This is what we're seeing in 2020. And this is what we will continue to see as the years progress and as feminism continues to rise, sexual liberation continues to rise, liberalism, leftist ideology continues to spread and pollute the minds of the youth and pollute the minds of men and women and young adults especially moving forward in 2020 and beyond. We're seeing it now in schools, we're seeing it now in workspaces, we're seeing it on Twitter, on social media. Today is supposed to be Father's Day. At the time of this recording, it is Father's Day today. Now, me personally, I didn't have my father in my life very much. I won't say he was completely absent, but he left my mom at an early age, just like many of you that do watch my content. And a lot of guys that have taken the red pill were once blue pill simps, soy boys, white knights, men that believed everything their mother told them about their father without really understanding their father for who he was and the man he was. We more so only heard things about our father through other people in the family, more so specifically your single mother, which in her perspective wasn't always in the best light. What I really found pretty upsetting and disturbing today, which was expected, but Mother's Day was trending during Father's Day. And not only is this extremely disrespectful towards all the fathers out there, the men that are actually have the country on their back and are moving things forward, building up this country, have established the laws, have established the government, have made men great, and have made this country great and other nations great, we are now seeing such open disrespect, such public disrespect towards men that even on Father's Day, men still can't get the respect that I feel like they deserve. And yes, there are fathers out there that maybe weren't the best, but I can tell you this, you're only hearing from your single mother one side of that story, all right? And I want you to understand Having a father in the house is extremely important. It's extremely essential and critical to forming masculine men in that household. Men that know how to carry themselves. Men that know how to operate in different situations, different scenarios. They're not going to be tainted by pressure. They're not going to feel emotional. They're not going to respond with emotions and feelings and how things feel. We see a lot of feelings nowadays. We're starting to see people act with a lot of emotions and how they feel in the current situation because this nation and a lot of other nations in this world, quite frankly, in general, is led by emotion and single mothers, not fathers. But single mothers continue to get all the praise. Single mothers continue to shame the men that have built this country. Single mothers continue to laugh in the face of men that are struggling, that have to pay child support, that have to pay alimony every month, and they don't get to see their children. Because when the dad comes and knocks on the door, the dad comes to pick up the children, the dad goes to the daycare, the kids aren't there, the mom hides the children from the father. And at the same time, she's whispering lies and deception in his ears so that this young man, this young woman, whoever's living with the single mother, grows up hating men and the cycle continues and the cycle will continue to get worse we as a nation have to address this we as men have to understand yes society is against us and men also must understand that yes maybe you were raised by a single mother and that single mother might have said your dad wasn't this your dad wasn't that he didn't treat me fairly he left us you know they try to bunch you two together he left us as a package deal this and that you have to understand that that single mother, your single mother, allowed this man to impregnate her. Your single mother, who had all the advantages in the dating market from ages 18, we could even say 16, we're not going to go there though if she was someone underage, but 18 to about 25 years old, she had the absolute advantage in the marketplace to pick from her top pick of a choice of men, all right? And she had a lot of men throwing themselves at her 
but she ended up choosing your father if you are a product of a single parent household like I am. And you have to understand, she made that decision. So for her to put the full blame on your father is really her still not being accountable for her actions. And we see not a lot of accountability nowadays as well, which I can make a whole nother video on that as well. Because a lot of this nation is becoming completely feminized by single parent raised men. More so specifically, single mother households. We're seeing a lot of emotion with no logic, just like the single mother household is ran. And you, if you are a product of a single mother household, you know for a fact that before, maybe you're red pill now, maybe you're going your own way and you, you've, you've, you've killed some of those tendencies, but you know for a fact that if you had not done your own research, you have not had the ability to want to go out and learn, maybe you had a mentor, maybe you had someone that came into your life and taught you how to be a man that stepped up. If you didn't have that person in your life, you would be emotional, you would be a little that's the honest truth. You wouldn't be making logical decisions. You would not be thinking straight. You would be thinking just like your single mother did. And that's a real issue going on in this world today. And I want all the fathers to be celebrated today. I appreciate all the fathers out there that are come to this channel. I see you guys that support, that come to other content like this. And you lead your children to knowledge and to understanding. And you help them because you know that there's not a lot of good advice out there. There's not really masculine figures out there that are really looking out for your children, that really want the best for your children, and don't just want to use them like pawns. Because a lot of people, including the government, uses men as pawns because we've been conditioned since birth to be little pawns, to just be used. Like the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a happy Father's Day. Stay blessed.